Rain, join the party. Now, one thing I'm, I don't know if I uh, uh, mentioned, um, the sprites for the characters, uh, at least the Symphonia characters, uh, it's the same sprite that they had in the original game. And also, they're, um, they're, they have zero experience and they don't gain any experience, so their level is, is, and equipment are fixed. Um, uh, their title is fixed too. Sometimes it usually it changes uh, each time you get each time like you get that character. Uh, like each time they join your party, like you get a they'll have like a different title or, or something like that. Um, you can control them in battle, although you can't put them in uh, the first or second slots. You can like switch them in battle, but you can't put them in the first or second slot. You always have to have either Emil or Marta in the first slot, <laughs> which I guess kind of sucks. It, it, it would have been nice if you could, um, if you could like level the Symphonia characters and you know uh, uh, give them equipment and all that. Um, however, as you may remember, you can change their skills. Um, so what I'm gonna do, even though I'm probably not gonna be using Rain, I'm gonna give her. Um, I'm gonna give her speed cast to an item pro. Item pro, just because if I happen to use items, they'll be more effective. And well, speed cast, it's kind of self-explanatory. Anyway, let's go find Pepe. Pepe is. Oh. Hey, right here. For a price. Uh, no. What are you talking about? That's just a big misunderstanding. I assure you. Well, if you say so, Professor Sage. Not too long ago, See, we're not out to for revenge. Headed towards the tree at ruins. It was definitely Lloyd. I know that spiky hair anywhere. Ah, the tree at ruins. Wait, are you sure it was Lloyd? Are you sure it wasn't like Carol? Was he a little bit short? Did he have like a... Was he carrying like a big purse? If so, it might have been Carol. Right. Hell, if it was yellow hair, it could have been... Well, I was going to say it could have been Guy, but Johnny Young Bosch is already voicing a meal. I'd like to go with you. Why? I was Lloyd's teacher. Because I have nothing else better to do. School isn't in session right now. So the fact that he's after the Centurion's cores troubles me. Six months ago, he was on a quest to collect X-Spheres. It was an important mission to him. He promised his father he'd complete Yeah, basically he promised he would get um his father. all the X-Spheres in the world and he, he, would, he would gather up all the X-Spheres in the world. That's what he said he would do. Yes, Dirk. Anyway, Dirk a Dirk. I'm interested no. to know his quest for X spheres to look for Centurion's cores. Uh, because the plot demanded what do you it. Think? What do we think? Let's have a come about this. Yes. With her along, we might be able to find out more about. She can keep Marta from running away. Yeah. Then it's settled. I look forward to traveling with you. I look. Forward to okay, um, teacher yes. voice. What is it? Uh, oh, it's nothing. If you have nothing to say, don't call out to others. Sorry. <laughs> I you weren't afraid of rain. She used her teacher voice on me. I couldn't help it. <laughs> her teacher voice. Her voice mounted you like a lion, Emil. Is that's what it does? Her voice is like as epic as mine. Rain to Tenebrae. Oh, right. She kind of freaks out a little bit when she sees Tenebrae. You, a talking animal? No, a monster. Oh, you're the one Colette was talking about. Tenebrae, correct? <laughs> Tenebrae. I am Centurion Tenebrae. You seem like an intelligent person. I am grateful for your assistance. 
you don't feel quite the same as a summon spirit, much closer to a monster. A monster. No doubt because I employ monsters. I must confess that I feel like a monster. Very interesting indeed. I'd love to learn more about it. We must talk later. Hopefully off screen. It would be my pleasure. Wow. Ring is totally unfazed. Yeah, no kidding. I guess she's just naturally composed. Indeed. Rain is actually a pretty decent character. Anyway. So Rain, you Next time. Or er, right? wait for it. Do the two of you fear half elves as well? I was always taught that half elves were evil, but you don't seem any different from us. Yeah, that's the I thing in um to form your own opinions of me. Uh honest, it, it was the belief in both Silveron and Tethiala that half elves were evil. Well, for face. one in Silveron so because uh, you had the designs. I see. Um but in Tethiala they were pretty much like like the lowest position in society like the two of them um, must be getting hungry, so I decided they, to put Well, I think I explained this already. Anyone. If if they were like seen one, if they were seen outside, they could be put to death just for that. I almost forgot to explain. It like really, really sucked. Lemons. You know how sushi rice can taste so Rice good? stuffed Sometimes lemons? How much you've eaten? Well, I thought I'd try to create that same addictive quality in a more ordinary everyday rice dish. I started <laughs> I like how they slowly <laughs> run away. Cook them just like that. Last but not least, I added garam masala to punch up the flavor. It's revolutionary. Yeah, um, uh, Rain's menu is, or Rain's cooking is kind of similar to like Marta's cooking. The revolutionary menu. Anyway, that's going to do it for this recording. So next time on Let's Play Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, we're going to head over, we're going to follow uh, Lloyd over here into the Triet Ruins. Uh, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see what we can dig up over there. So yeah, anyway, this has been GT. Thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.